The next story is detailed in Linda Godfrey's book, Hunting the American Werewolf, about an encounter in Brookfield, Wisconsin. In it, she writes, Brookfield, Wisconsin is a fast-growing suburb of Milwaukee with one of the busiest stretches of highway in the state. Where Moorland Road ramps on and off the east-west freeway I-94, with traffic headed to the big nearby mall in downtown Milwaukee, or the vast stretch of retail businesses packed around the intersection with Blue Mound Road, any two or four-legged creature with a lick of sense would fear to tread. I've always maintained that the beast has more brains than to be seen someplace like that. It's normally been sighted only in areas where there is some kind of cover. Handy cornfields, woods, or just a deep old-fashioned ditch. But just off I-94 West, in Brookfield, is exactly where three young women did see the creature in late December 2000. The only cover that existed in the area at the time was the Shield of Darkness. And evidently, that was enough to make the creature feel safe. Tiffany, a 19-year-old University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee student majoring in elementary education, was returning from a trip to Milwaukee with her 15-year-old sister, Erin, who attended New Berlin West High School, and their 12-year-old cousin, Maddie, a student at Holy Apostle School in New Berlin. They all remember there was snow on the ground, and it was near Christmas between 8 and 9 p.m. The three had been on a mission to the Wisconsin Humane Society to look for a new puppy for Maddie, but hadn't found a suitable animal and were returning dogless. Imagine their joy and surprise when, as they exited the expressway on the circular ramp leading to Moorland Road, Maddie exclaimed that she had just seen a stray dog sit in the snow-covered grass in the middle of the ramp. Being animal lovers and not wanting to leave the dog alone, they decided to pull over about a block away and walk to the area where Maddie had seen the dog. Since it was close to Christmas, there was still a lot of traffic at that hour, and there was also construction work being done on the ramp. Even though it was dark out, and not being afraid of the dog, they walked up the grassy area and visually scanned around, searching for the dog. They didn't see anything and started teasing Maddie. Then they called out for the dog and started moving forward a bit, thinking it may move at the sound of their voices and come to them. Well, all of a sudden, something jumped up from out of the grass and sprinted super fast from them in the direction of the expressway. The creature was about 30 feet away. It was hairy ran on hind legs and was pretty tall. Tiffany would never forget the weird way it ran, not having seen anything run on its hind legs like that before. It took huge leaping skips away from them, not like anything she'd ever seen before, and not something any human could do. In a split second, they all knew it wasn't a dog. They all looked at each other in disbelief at what they had just seen. Then started screaming and ran back to the car. 
the whole way back to their home. And to this day, they still tease Maddie about the dog she had seen and how they could have gotten killed trying to rescue it. It was the weirdest thing Tiffany had ever seen in her life, and she still has trouble believing it. Now, when Maddie had first seen it, it was on all fours. It looked like a dog to her because of the head shape and hairy body. But the girl soon realized that this stray was nothing like the four lone pets they had just visited at the shelter. The fur was around three or four inches long and black or dark brown. It didn't have a tail. They didn't see its eyes, claws, or teeth because they'd only seen it from the back. Its body was like a human's body with arms of relatively normal length compared to the rest of its body. It didn't have a thick frame, nor was it super bulky like Bigfoot either. But it was muscular, especially the legs and back. Jennifer said it was between 200 and 250 pounds. She said it was like a tailless dog or an ape because it was hairy but his body resembled more of a human shape. Also, his body was upright like a human and moved unlike anything she'd seen before. When they first saw it, it jumped up like a spring and ran away from them in a straight line towards the bushes on the right side of the expressway. Its movement was very springy and agile but also controlled and powerful. With each step, its body came about five feet off the ground and it covered a distance of 10 to 15 feet. Now that might sound like it moved similarly to astronauts walking on the moon, but it was very different from that because it moved much faster and it hit the ground with more impact. It moved quickly and gracefully like a gazelle, clearing a hundred feet in a few seconds, all on its hind legs. <laughs>